everyone and welcome to another video with me, Coach Sierra. I'm the Research and Assessment Specialist here with Academic Coaching for World Changers. And today we're going to talk about the good old correlations, all right? So correlations means relationships between variables. There is such a thing called correlational research. Correlational research is the study of relationships between variables. Correlational research produces a number called the correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient is the number that tells us the strength of the relationship between variables. All right. So the correlation coefficient in full is called the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. It's represented by the letter R. All right. So if you see a question that says, what is R? R stands for the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. Correlation means relationships, and correlation coefficient is a number that tells us the strength of the relationship between variables. A correlation coefficient ranges from negative one to positive one. So it's important to note that it's a range, okay? So if it dings all the way to that negative one, it's a perfect negative correlation. If it dings all the way to that positive one, it's a perfect positive correlation. This correlation coefficient can be statistically checked. So here in the Helwig book, it's stating that this is a statistical index, which shows the relationship between two sets of numbers. We need to note that correlation can exist between two variables called a bivariate correlation, but it can also exist between multiple variables called a multivariate correlation, just in case you see that as an exam question. Now, it's also important to note that correlation tells us nothing about cause and effect. Correlation, which means relationship, is not the same as cause and effect. It just tells us the degree of the relationship. So what I mean by that is, if you're going to send um, a research question or a study through the correlation machine, then you've proved a relationship, not cause and effect. If you send something through a causation machine, then you've proved cause and effect. A common example I give in my individual classes is that um, just because you exercise does not mean you'll lose weight. Now, exercise is correlated to weight loss, but just because you exercise doesn't mean it will cause you to lose weight. Correlation is not the same thing as cause and effect. Now, you also need to note a little extra information. So if we think of the correlation that ranges from negative one to positive one, I want you to note that this is the second concept that has to do with numbers. Do not get this confused with negative three to positive three standard deviations for a z-score or 20 to 80 standard, the range of standard deviations for a t-score. Okay, these are not the same concepts. So we know that we've just now covered and now know that if we ding that negative one, it's called a perfect negative correlation. If we ding that positive one, it's a perfect positive correlation. Well, what happens if we ding zero? Zero means that there is no correlation to be found. So for those of you watching this video and for those of you have, who have a pet, I have zero correlation with your pet. I don't know who's watching this video and I don't know your pet. I don't know your pet's name, breed, how long you had it, if you wanted the pet, if you ended up just end up having a pet, how old it is, what it looks like, the color. I know nothing about your pet. Me and your pet have a zero correlation. All right, so that's what I mean by no relationship, no correlation. Now, it's important to note that the closer we are to the edges, the stronger the relationship is. So if zero means a weaker relationship. The closer we are to zero, the weaker, the further we are away from zero is a stronger relationship. So you might see a question that says like 0.23. What type of relationship is this? Is this strong, weak, moderate? This is a pretty weak correlation. Moderate would be like around the 0.5 area. This is pretty close to zero. So I would consider this a weak positive correlation. If I had a negative 0.23, a weak negative correlation. If I had a negative 0.99, that is a strong negative correlation. If I had a 0.99, that is a strong positive correlation. 
When we, what we mean by negative and positive correlations is that in a negative correlation, because correlation means the relationship between variables, one variable is going up and one variable is going down. In a positive correlation, they're both going up or they're both going down. All right. So again, in correlation coefficient, it's the number that tells us the strength of the relationship. Correlation means relationships. It's not the same as standard scores. It's not the same as the normal distribution. It's not the same as anything else. It's its own number, number eight, correlation. We can see at the very bottom here, number nine, where it says reliability. It's its own wheelhouse, all right? It has a range of negative one to positive one. The closer we are to zero, the weaker the correlation, the closer we are to the ends, it's a stronger correlation. A negative one is a perfect negative correlation. A positive one is a perfect positive correlation. A negative correlation means the variables are moving in opposite directions as one goes up, one goes down. A positive correlation means we're moving in the same direction. And what I mean by that, by the way, is for example, if I am failing math, but passing English, I have a negative correlation between my grades. As one goes up, the other one goes down. A positive correlation means I'm failing math, and I'm failing English, or I'm passing math, or I'm passing English. The relationship between the variables is moving in the same direction. All right, so that is all I have for today. I just wanted to take some time and cover correlations, correlation coefficient, and how it's not the same as cause and effect or causation. Thank you so much for watching this video. Of course, if you have any questions, you can email us at drpam2020 at gmail.com. Or you can check us on our website at Academic Coaching for World Changers. Thanks so much for joining, everyone. Have a great day.